Hey guys, how you doing? It's Holly the Edge Mess here. So recently I posted on the forums um about uh the sword dagger condi thief build that's going around in PvP. And I, I knew this was gonna happen, but I did it anyway just to get the message out. So basically, if anybody know, there's a YouTuber by the name of Brazil, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know. But if you don't, there's a guy named Brazil and he shows the sword dagger acro condi thief. Maybe you don't even have to run aggro, but most people run acrobatic straight line and um, Basically, it's 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 cancerous as shit. It's like literally not balanced at all and You could tell by him like playing the build in these clips Now what I see the most people always saying oh just bring Condi clear Oh, you just need to learn how to play but not everybody knows how to play like an ESL esports player like how is that doesn't make any logical sense to try to say that everybody just needs to learn how to play now I'm not saying the build is unkillable but it's clearly not balanced the condition pressure is crazy in the amount of out of combat and the sustain that the thief can do is really insane now here's where the cheesy part comes now watch this He pulled it through the wall at least three times in this one fight. Now imagine, this is in PvP. Now imagine a player being able to do this in World vs. World. Just constantly pull it through the wall, constantly teleport out of combat. It's just crazy. This skill is more effective than Shadow Step. Because you try to use Shadow Step and it says uh, no line of sight or some shit like that. But clearly this motherfucker is teleporting through the wall. Where the fuck is the no line of sight on that shit? So if you know me, I like to be sarcastic. So I get in the forums and I post, please don't nerf Condi Sword Dagger Thief, right? And I'm not talking trash about nobody. Basically what it says is, hey, don't nerf this build. It's not a cheesy build. It's not broken. You just need to learn to play. I, I was being sarcastic, but what the point was is I was leading up to um, sharing Brazil's video so people would know and at least Anet would know. I'm pretty sure they fucking know, but they just don't do anything about it like they always do. But I wasn't talking trash about nobody. I wasn't attacking anybody. I was just like, hey, don't nerf this build. It's a learn to play problem. So they sent me this long drawn out message telling me that I need to be respectful and I need to stop attacking other members. I was like, dude, I'm not attacking anybody. Why do y'all give me this default response? All I was saying is, don't nerf this build because it's balanced and everybody just needs to learn to play. Eventually, I shared the video on the post, but then the post got removed and I got this message. You can dislike this video, I don't give a fuck, but all I was trying to do is somehow make it visible for the developers to know that this shit is broken and you need to fix it before the uh, expansion comes out or do something because this is why mainly the reason that uh, they got taken out of esports because they couldn't balance their game effectively. So all in all, if you're looking forward to trying to reach out to the developers using the forms as a means of like expressing your opinion, your opinion don't fucking matter. Like, it really doesn't. They'll do and whatever they want. And you can go on there. You can even go on there and be nice. And they will still infraction your post. So it, there's no real like reason to go on there. Other than just looking at what people have to say I guess. Because every time I post something. Even if it's not negative. I could just be like hey guys how are you doing. And they would be like your post has been infraction. You've been warned. I'm like what? What the fuck just happened? I, I didn't do anything. So yeah, I, I think I'm done posting on them cancerous forms. And now they got like a like and dislike. Like, why would you do that? Why would you add a dislike and a like? Like, I can see what people like posts, but dislike posts. Like, people could just be like, hey, how you doing? And someone dislike it just to be trolling. Like, there's really no reason to add a, a like and a dislike on forum posts. We all know the internet is cancerous as fuck. And people hate each other. And there's no real reason to value anyone's opinion because my opinion is better than yours so I don't understand the purpose of that but yeah I, I think I'm done so hopefully you watch this video hope this gave you some insight and I'll see y'all later